Aloha, <clears throat> it's Matthew, and autumn has arrived, you guys. Um, this might be my favorite season. Um, so, Scotty and I just got back from Kailua Kona uh, for his birthday weekend staycation, and tragedy struck. Um, I broke my nail right when we went into the hotel room. The drawer was stuck on my nightstand, and I was trying to open it up. And um, So I filed the rest of these down a little bit shorter, but um, they're not, obviously they're not as long as my, my, I guess this is my good hand, even though technically usually your less dominant hand is your Cindy hand. Um, I got a little bit of, liquid latex going because we're going to use some solid stamps um, <clears throat> and I accidentally um, nipped a little bit too much with the cuticle nippers so I just covered it in liquid latex so you guys don't have to look at it um, and I woke up this morning and I tested positive for COVID so I'm trying to make a video really quick um, hopefully this is just a um, What's that word? A um, less severe case. I don't know. The last one, the last time I got sick, which was the first time I did, um, was much worse. But I don't know. It might just be ramping up. Who knows? Hopefully I'll be better soon. Um, okay, let's focus on the nails. Uh, this is just going to be a quick one because uh, I don't know how long I can talk before I might start coughing. On my nails last night, I put brick wall. From Hollow Taco. And then on my accent fingers, I put Ginger Snatched. And um, this one is from their fall release last year. And the Ginger Snatched is from their Cookies and Creme release um, this spring. Uh, and then this is the Fallen Flake Taco that I can't sing the praises of enough. This was uh, released with the fall um, bundle. And if you pick up nothing else uh, i would highly recommend this topper it goes great with so many different colors um, for stamping polishes today we're going to use cherry bomb zinnia papaya and acorn is going to be our outline color which is like a super deep dark brown it almost looks black but it's just a deep 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 brown um, before i forget if you do buy anything from maniology if you use my discount code matthew10 you save 10% and uh, Maniology sends me a, uh, a small commission based on your sale. Um, and then for plates today, we've got, or I'm just going to do this one M425. And on all my non, any finger but a, a ring finger, I'm going to go ahead and put this, um, this to topper on. This beautiful taco. It is so pretty. And um, I was looking, somebody recommended I look at Starly and look at some of their polishes. Um, and I went looking, but I'm on a, I'm currently on a low buy slash no buy. And I know that Halloween and Christmas boxes are coming up, and I'm probably going to be buying some of those. So, um, as tempted as I was, I didn't get any um, Starly polishes, um, but they have one that they call Crunchy Leaves, and it looks to be very similar to this one. Um, I was tempted to get it because I love this one so much, and the Starly bottles although they're, um, I think, $2 more expensive than this one, they have uh, three more milliliters. So instead of a, instead of a 12 milliliter bottle, it's um, a 15 milliliter bottle. This one's KB Shimmer, but I'm just using it for size reference, just so you can see the difference. Um, so we're getting that, that flaky topper on. Let me get rid of that extraneous one. 
And let's get this other hand. And then we're going to stamp the two ring fingers. And that's going to be the design for today, you guys. Um, if you're dying to know if Scotty's shirt that I sewed for him for his birthday fit, it did. Um, and I'm super glad about it. If you didn't see the last video, I talked about um, I sewed him an Aloha, an Aloha shirt for his birthday. and. Um, Oh, maybe I'll just include, I'll put a picture of the two of us when we were waiting um, for the, for our table at the restaurant. Um, yeah, the shirt he's wearing, I made for him. And I was concerned that it might not be long enough because he's six foot four. Um, but it was, it was just right. So I'm glad for that. <laughs> because... I had told everyone, I told you guys that um, my friend Christopher could use it if Scott didn't, but Christopher's a medium, and I don't know where I got mixed up on that. Um, Christopher's the same size as I am. And so um, when I told Christopher about it possibly going to him, he got upset. He's like, I am not an extra large. And I was like, oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Not only did, did it work out that it fit Scotty, but also it would not, would not have fit you. I retract my statement and I backpedaled really quickly. It was pretty funny. Um, okay, so let's stamp these out and then we'll zoom in. I'll show you that. I mean, you can already see that sparkle from that topper. But when I zoom in, you can see that like, there's, a, there's different. There's a, it's a multi-chrome. So there's like gold, magenta, green. Um, I guess fuchsia is really close to magenta, right? That's the same thing. Um, it's just a beautiful topper. And it kind of, um, the different uh, colors appear more prominent on other, on different base colors, if that makes sense. It doesn't react like um, an, a clear, like an iridescent flaky, but the surrounding polish, the background color does have... Um, an effect on which colors become evident um, in the multi-chrome. Okay, so let's get to stamping. I'm going to do... I'm going to attempt a... Um, what's the word? Uh, like a smushed gradient, kind of. So I'm going to get all three of these colors here. We got Cherry Bomb is the red, Zinnia is the yellow, and then Papaya is the orange. Really, you can use any kind of red, orange, yellow combination that you want that's going to remind you of um, the leaves turning in fall. Um, I surely do miss... There are just a few things that I miss about the mainland, and that is one of them. Um, where I used to live, there was this row of Liberty Flame maples, and those are the one of the first ones to go off in autumn. And they um, are bright, brilliant red, and then almost immediately drop their leaves. They're the first to turn and the first to drop. Um, from what I from what I know, I mean, there might be other ones that that turn and drop faster that I'm just not familiar with. But I know that those are one of the first ones. So I'm just kind of blobbing here and there with the colors, trying to mix them up nice. Okay. And then what we're going to do is... Um, we're going to scrape this one like that. And pick it up. And we're going to go on. Okay, so I'm trying to remember which way I laid it down. We're going to go this way. Mm hmm. And I'm remembering this time because the last one that I did with the um, with the seashells for summer, I uh, when I went to go put on the detail layer, I couldn't figure out which end was supposed to be 
the detail um, because it uh, they were just blobs that weren't very um, definite, and I couldn't tell which ones belonged where. So. I think also that the um the the colors that I chose didn't um didn't stand off from the base coat enough for me to really see. So I went this way, right? So then when I pick it up, we're going to be going that way. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure I get it right. I don't want to fiddle with it. Okay. So then we're going to use the acorn for the detail layer. Mm-hmm. Okay, there we go. Um, if you guys are liking my videos, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope, I think I got enough. Yep, okay, so here we go. I'm lining up those two, and everything else hopefully should just line up within that. All right, okay. So what I did was uh, I lined up this larger one and that larger one. And by putting those two on in the same, um, lining up the two of those, that basically aligned the rest of everything else. Um, so let's separate that from the sides. And then we'll pick off this excess acorn. And then, like I said, we'll zoom in at the end and take a, uh, a closer look at the stamping. Um, there is that. Um, so, yeah, if you guys have the Starly um, Crunchy Leaves polish, um, tell me what you think. Tell me if you think it's um, the same or if it's a different colorway. Um, if you have both, especially, you could tell me, you know, if it's, uh, if they're basically duplicates. I don't want to buy a polish I already own. Um, I'm really trying to utilize the polishes that I have. And, um, I mean, I have over 600 polishes. And so it's, it's about time I use some of them. Um, okay, so on this one... I think what I'm going to do is a little bit more, um, meticulous. What I want to do, um, yeah, let's do it, you guys. Um, I think I need white. I have white right here. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a quick little reverse paint with you guys. Because I'm feeling like I'm not going to cough. and Watch me say that and go into a coughing fit. But I also um, took a day quill. And I uh, also have my iced tea right next to me here. So if things start going sideways, I can take a big sip from that. Okay. So let's pick that one up. Okay, we got a good clean pickup. I'm going to get rid of that stuff because we just don't need it. Okay. And then I'm going to use my little, I've got my little um, paw print tool that came in one of my Manny by Me kits. And I'm going to. Um, Put my paint on it like a palette and I need a teeny tiny detail brush and I need my little heart tool full of acetone um, 
Oh, and this detail brush came in a Manny by Me kit too. So uh, when I joined the Manny by Me kit back in, um, I want to say it was August of last year, um, I started making videos reviewing them. I think that was one of like the first ones I did. And um, my thing was I was going to get every single kit every single month for a year and then do a review and tell you whether I think it's worth it. Spoiler, I'm pretty sure I'm going to say yes. Um, I really enjoyed this last year. Um, the thing with the subscription to the Manny by Me kit is that you get a sneak peek preview um, around the 20th. And so um, let's, let's flip this plate over and zoom in. You guys can see that? Okay. So you get a sneak peek preview on uh, somewhere around the 20th. And if you don't like what's coming up in that month's box, you can just postpone it. You can say, I don't want this month. And they won't charge you and you get, I mean, well, so I do, the, I bought the, um, the six months. So I paid for six months all up front, right? But what I'm saying about the won't charge you is they won't deduct that from your six months if you skip a month, right? I'll get one more month added on to my subscription. And if you're doing the, there is a monthly rate, which is a little bit more expensive. And then there's also a three month rate, which is um, gives you a, a little bit of a discount. But uh, the real bonus is probably, I would say, going with the um, the six month price, right? And if you um, if you have too many polishes already, which I think that might be my my uh, <laughs> situation this coming year um you can sign up for the express kit which is just the plates and the tool or the gift right um so you don't get the polishes uh, but if it turns out you absolutely really really like the polishes you can always the early release polishes are not exclusive to the box so they do come on to the um site later on and um okay there's that what i think oh we're starting to get goopy what i think i'm gonna do once my um subscription runs out i think i'm going to sign up for the express kit um because that way i can still get the plates and the um the tools and or the gift and um and then i won't have to worry about uh having an unreasonable amount uh, i guess a more unreasonable amount of polishes uh, and what i was saying is that you know if you if you see the polish and you're like oh i don't have something like that in my collection and i'd like to add to it you can always get it when it comes on the site because the plates are exclusive to the kit but the polishes are not okay let's do this last Last one here in orange. Okay. And clean it off. So all of these tools here that I'm using, the detail brush, this little acetone dish, or you can use it in different ways, but it's good for acetone. And this little um, palette. Sorry, uh, my brain's not really working. Um, you can get those tools and... Um, Wow, I really lost it. All of these tools came for me in in the last year of the Manny by Me kit. I think that's what I was getting at. Um, there were a few boxes that um, just weren't my style. They weren't bad per se. Um, they were like quality plates and um, good polishes, right? But they just weren't my style. Like the Wizard of Oz one. Um, I just, I'm not, I don't know that I'm a big enough fan of Wizard of Oz to warrant, um, stamping on my nails. 
Um, you know, but if you are a big fan of Wizard of Oz, then that kit would have been fantastic for you. But again, if you don't like it, you can always skip. Um, so when I started it, I said I'm going to do it for a year and then make a year-end review. So hopefully, uh, maybe while I'm sitting around being sick, I can pull out a spreadsheet and um, put that together. I don't think I'm going to make the berries white. I was originally going to do the berries white because um, I was thinking mistletoe. Um, but I realized I made all of those leaves orange instead of some of them orange and some of them red. So I'm just going to put red down for the berries. And come on, steady hand. I am also bracing my hand on my table. Okay, can you guys see? Did I go off screen? Okay. I hope I wasn't painting off screen for that whole time. Okay. And so then my ring finger polish is from last night. And so before we go to do this, I'm saying this out loud so I don't forget. We're going to need to make my nails sticky again. And in order to do that, we're going to use um, Orly Bonder Base. Um, and I'm sure you've heard me say before that Maniology sells a their version of this called Sticky Base Coat. And um, I just already have a lot of bonder base. Uh, my mom bought me an eight ounce refill bottle for Christmas this last year, and I've hardly made a dent in it. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I don't see myself buying any of the Maniology sticky base anytime soon, just because of that. Okay, so let's zoom out. Okay, let's make some room here. And I'm going to put just a swipe of Bonder base coat down. And then when this dries, it will become tacky. And then for my two stamped nails, I'm going to cover them with the smudge free top coat. And then after about uh, five minutes, once that's dried, I'm going to come back and put a uh, quick dry top coat over all my nails to lock in the topper and to lock in the stamping designs. Um, okay, so I think we are set on that. You just have to let it dry for you know, 30, 40 seconds. Okay. And here comes autumn. All right. Oh, yeah, that's adorable. Okay. Let's just clean up these edge pieces. Uh -huh. Like that. Okay. Fantastic. Let me throw a layer of um, smudge free top coat on those two stamp designs and then we will uh, zoom in, take a look, and then I think I'm going to go lay down again. I broke a sweat <laughs> painting, stamping my nails. Um, I hope that this, uh, this run just goes nice and smoothly. Having, I guess, I had antibodies from a few months ago, so hopefully that works for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. and let's zoom in on this you guys okay so there's that um let's see if we can get 
Yeah, you see all those different colors? I have a lot of, I have three different light sources, so I'm trying to, like, isolate the color shifting on that. It's like pink, gold, green. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, so let's look at this cute little one we just did. That's the reverse painted one. Got our orange, yellow, and red for fall on that nice ginger snatched base. And then over here, we've got the crushed leaves or the um, ombre leaves. And I think those are looking pretty cute. Uh, let's pull back out here. Um, again, if you like the video, feel free to like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Uh, I broke 400 subscribers this last week, and I'm super excited about it. Uh, until next time, you guys. Bye.